How are you doing, everyone? This is Chris from Garden Grove, California. And uh, I've really enjoyed the last three videos and was really looking forward to this one. So we'll just keep going right along where we were. And uh, sometimes I'm tempted to jump ahead and get into, you know, a lot heavier stuff or stuff more technical. But I really want for you guys to learn the fundamentals of proper pendulum dowsing because there it's far and few between I've noticed so let's get into it I always like to start this by showing you one of my cool instruments how oh, it's how about this I'm doing something right now this is a uh, a crystal energy emitter and uh, what I have in here right now I have some spirulina in here and I'm amping it up amping up the pi ray and uh, the way I went about that was the first I use my pendulum. Let's get a neat one here. All right. It has a little light on. Is that neat or what? When it works, there it goes. Of course, has to, uh, this Berlina. Would this be beneficial for me? And that says yeah. And then we need to ask the duration. Okay. This technology is the same that uh, was in the pyramids in Egypt, and they had what's called a decompression chamber. Because uh, they get so much of this, what's called the pi ray, that they would actually get sick and some could die. So you, you don't want the duration. I, I mean, I'm not saying you're going to die off it, but you want to have the duration. So you'd ask, just do the yes, no, and weed it down quick. All right. Should I have it in there more than 10 hours? Should I have it in there more than five hours? Should I have it in there over an hour? Over two hours? Hour and a half? Hour and 45 minutes. All right, 46, 47. All right. So once you get good, you'll be able to do that. Once you have, you know, you've gotten over all the other stuff, and it just comes naturally, and there's no doubt, you just feel it. And so remember, like when you felt the paper, keep practicing that. Get yourself a, a, a uh, get yourself some uh, discs, or just ask yes and no questions. It's really great. And I want to go back over some of the basics. We did the, the string length. I hope you guys, first I hope you guys got your pencil. Huh? And next, you get your string length. And then after you got your string length, of course, we want to move our pendulum a couple inches to break that east-west flux, as we like to call it, to break that gravity. Okay. We did that. And then we went into uh, feeling that response over your left hand or your right hand or your kneecaps. And uh, so you can feel that response. And then, uh, and of course, uh, uh, the yes-no. You know, starting with something you know for sure, your name, and Moving on. So now uh, let's go to the next steps. Let's let's remember a little bit of environment. And let me point out I had to go back and study a little bit because after 25 years, when you get good at it, you know, God willing and do whatever, that uh, you won't have always have to have perfect environments. But when you're new, it's best to learn the rudiments and have a good environment. So good environments. A nice room, a peaceful room, not too much electronics, metal, cavities, meaning cabinets and drawers closed, bright lights. These things all put off frequencies. Everything is a vibration in this world. And certain ones that are intense can really affect it. You know, in front of your computer, all these TV cameras and stuff, that could affect it. And uh, use a neutral color as your little field. White or black, something of that nature would be nice. And uh, always remember to check your mindset that, you, you know, doubt's a problem, which, I mean, you just can't say I don't want to doubt, but it takes practice and practice and, you know, studying and learning from the greats and hearing their story. Also, uh, wishful thinking, having intentions, you know, hoping something's going to be there, that is obviously going to affect the pendulum. Okay. And uh, always remember the three laws that... We don't douse for gain, but money may be the byproduct of it. And also, we don't douse to prove to people, to prove to the doubters. And of course, third, not uh, dousing the future. And uh, if you don't know why, as time goes on, these things will all come to you. Okay. And um, so what I want to do is show you, like, some of the charts I made when I was young. We only have a few minutes. I'm going to do a part two, and I'm going to make some discs right in front of you. And we're going to have a great time. We're going to use them together, and you're going to see how easy it is. I made this one when I was like 19 years old. Is this cool? 
I got a place for a picture here as the witness. Also a place in the back where I pulled this thing out for blood. And uh, this is the disease for many things. It's really complex, but it's very simple. I used to use it for, well, actually, this I had awareness ruler here. See these little dots? You would start here. And we'd show the awareness. And, uh, we use this for stuff. Here's the chakras. Also has the positive and negative habit patterns. Not as a positive and negative habit pattern, but uh, so that we can quickly, as we see somebody who, let's say, their, uh, their orange chakra is spinning negative, you know, we know up at, unless you're really good at it, when you start off, you need to have these little quick reference things. And uh, so this is really, this is cool. Once you get beyond and you realize that anything based on a yes, no, and of course a white paper and pencil and the pendulum of the right protocol will get you a diviner's response, you'll go crazy. I mean, you can make any, any disc. So I've made other discs, and uh, I actually went up, this would be a good one to show you that uh, this is a little, a little replica I made. I don't have all the fancy words of the magnetron, which you'll see in stupids and science, nuclear evolution, etc. And uh, Penny Slinger had me come up to the house to show a gentleman. He was in electronic divine equipment, really smart guy. He was cool. And uh, to make a long story short, it took me a couple months to figure this out. And after I did, I took it up there, and he felt it wasn't scientific enough for him. And he kind of he kind of down talked me to Mr. Hill's wife, which you know it happens. But what this is, it's nothing more than like the disc or chart you see. But right here, these are magnets. And what they do, I'm not down by this is a cool thing, but it's it is what it is. It's it's not that big. Thing. And that when you do your pendulum, your normal questions or whatever, you get it amplifies the response of that response. So, but the point I want to get across to that is how easy it was to make. Well, that took me a while to figure out, but uh, sometimes people expect something that's it's not the way it works. You're not going to get an electronic device that's going to tell you everything. I mean, maybe someday, but not now. Okay, I'm going to end now so I can come back and we're going to make some pins and charts together, a disc as well as list, and we'll make it together and we'll do it together and we'll have a blast and you'll just see how fun it is. I thought it was a special treat. We would end with Dr. Hill's voice. A lot of people have never heard it. I realize that most of man's creations are not equal to a lot of mud. So it's all a lot of mud. Easier uh, fulfillment. And as a soil. You can make your body new. So let's be grateful for those simple things and realize that the worst thing that can happen to us is to put our trust in the works of man, put our trust in the mind of man. Put our trust in anything that they want to create in man. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked to hear Dr. Hill's voice. Uh, he was a tremendous man. We. He left by, back so much for us. He left many things for us to learn by. And I'm going to come back. We're going to make some just together. All right.